Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys how I went from a brunette to blonde by balayaging my own hair at home. First off, you're just going to section off your hair. I went through several photos and stuff online. I'm going to post a link to the video which shows you how to section off your hair. This is fairly simple. Just use any clip you got. Now I'm mixing blonde door, bleach, and Willa 40 developer. I got my hands on some Olaplex. Put that in. Whip it on up. I'm so glad I found some online. I'll post a link to the website that I purchased it on below as well. Now to start balayaging away. I watched so many YouTube videos before I actually attempted this, you guys. Probably a hundred at least. I've never bleached my hair before, so I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what to do and what to expect. I already knew that I was not going to turn blonde this first attempt, but that's why I got the blonde door bleach because it said it lifted up to seven at least with no brassiness so here I'm just starting on one side balayaging <coughs> moving on to the next I'm using styrofoam which I've never used before but I said let's try it and see how it works It was very hard sometimes to do it on my left side because I'm right handed, but I think I did a pretty good job. Just try to make sure that you get it saturated really well. I really had no technique to it. I'm not a professional, guys. By far, but I have dyed my own hair several times just using box dyes and anything I could get from beauty stores. So I did have a little bit of experience, just not with highlighting. But this bleach was very easy to use. You could tell exactly where it was applying it to. <laughs> you can tell how hard it was for me to do this side. It, it got on my nerves the whole time. I could not get them to stay on the styrofoam. They wanted to slip. And I really just winged it when it come to sectioning out my hair. It was just really hard on this side. <laughs> and you have to really be cautious about your time because it is bleach. I would advise using a 20 developer maybe on those bottom parts and 40 developer as you go up but I was really concerned that my hair wouldn't take so I stuck the 40 developer on my whole head and just try to try to do it as fast as I could Now, I teased the top part. I really couldn't tell if it gave it any effect or not. I think it did help with just not making it such a harsh line. And I'm not the best at teasing my hair, so honestly, I couldn't tell if it was even working. So, 
saturate, saturate, saturate. And move on. By this time, I was feeling the burn. It really was a workout. It might not look like it, but I could feel all the muscles in my arms. The higher I got. <laughs> And since I used Olaplex, it definitely protected the value um, value of my hair. I was really worried at first what the bleach was going to do to my hair. But honestly, after it was all said and done, my hair was so much stronger, honestly, I feel after this process compared to how it was before. Here goes more of the struggle. It was so real. <clears throat> and I really just tried to Mimic the V pattern that you see on so many professional hairstylist balayages and saturate the ends and repeat. And yes, these foams did get heavy. They actually were twice as wide and I cut all of them in half vertically because I knew I wouldn't need that much and I'm so glad I did because they would have been that much harder to handle. And looking back on it now, I would have double clipped every one just so they would have stayed in place a little more. Okay, now I'm up at the top section of my hair Thank God. And I really just stuck to placing the foils on the right and left side. I didn't know if they would have been able to manage it if I would have just did them straight up on the top of my head and let it lay back. So I just put all of them to the right and left side. Tease, tease, tease. I don't even know how many fulls these actually ended up being. Okay, 30 minutes. Whew. This is when you probably need a rest break, but you realize you're working with bleach and developer and so you just kick it up another notch separate this front piece now these are all gonna be your money pieces so be very careful about where you place the bleach on these strands tease 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 and hold okay By this point, I was getting really low on my bleach, so I had to be really careful about where I put it and how much I put on it. And I only purchased one packet, and it was one ounce, if I'm not mistaken. And so with the two ounces of developer, it was three ounces of product. Plus the one eighth ounce of the Olaplex. Here's more of that struggle on this left side. They just did not want to work with me. But since you're so dedicated at getting your hair done, you make it work. 
Okay, 45 minutes have passed. This is when you know you got to get to moving. And this is the top part of my hair where I naturally part it. So you definitely want to make sure you get this in exactly how you want it to turn out. This is the one strand you're going to be able to see no matter how you do your hair. Whew. Lord, I was so excited to get to these front sections on my hair. Get in place here. So on this last batch, I added um, a little bit more Wella 40 developer because I was working with the bottom of the bowl. So I wanted to ha make what I had last throughout these last two strands. Whew. I can see the end. I can see the end. I'm going to be blonde. I'm going to be blonde. I promise. Bye-bye, fools. Stupid styrofoam. I'm glad they wanted to fall now and not <laughs> when I was just getting started. And this is my last strand. Woo woo woo, tease, tease, tease. And this is your other money piece. So you want to make sure that you place the bleach in a pattern that's going to contour your face somewhat. And look, I used every last drop and tried to make sure that I got it where I wanted it here on my face. Literally. With the length of my hair here, one pack was just enough. But if you want to use more, you can double up your bleach. Look, and you can already tell it's starting to turn already. And here I just combed it out just a little. Just so it wouldn't make such a harsh line. And cleaned up. I'm going to put it in a shower cap, let it sit and develop. I'll be back with the result. And here is my before and after. I was a true dark brown and now I'm turning blonde. And this is what my hair will look like. And this is how my hair looks right now. This is after two sessions of bleach. And I'm going to try one more time to see how light I can actually get it. There's a full list of all the products I use. I'll give a link down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for my next and final video of Going Blonde.